The number one thing that you ought to be good at, that you should uh, have some skill at when you graduate from high school, when you're 18, is you should be good at public speaking and specifically, you should be good at giving presentations. The second thing you ought to be good at is basic finance. I'm talking both personal finance and corporate finance. You should be able to read a spreadsheet. You should be able to financially plan for yourself and look at the plans of a company or, or other individuals or what have you and, and be able to make some sense of it. The third thing you ought to be competent at when you're 18, when you finish high school, is you ought to be able to speed read a book or text, no matter how long, be able to skim through it and figure out quickly what is the basic premise or argument of the book. And the fourth skill that you should have is being able to anticipate the effects of any given action, both your own actions and the actions of somebody else. Now, each of these skills is essential for your success and your development as a man. Now, you should know these skills by the time you're 18, but if you're, say, 22, 25, 30, 35, and you still aren't competent in one of these four skills, well, then you have to work at it, okay? Work at it pronto, because these four skills are essential to your life. Let's get to the first one. Now, public speaking, what's public speaking? Well, obviously, it's talking in front of people. Talking in front of people and getting them to understand what you are thinking, and more to the point, convincing them that what you're thinking, that your conclusions, that your beliefs, your thoughts, your ideas are the correct ones. Now, this is a skill. Public speaking, talking to a lot of people, is a skill that you have to practice and you have to study. It's not something that you know you magically have. I, look at me. Do you think that I'm able to do this, you know, just because I was born this way? I was like a magician that had this ability? No! I had to practice it. I worked for three and a half years as an English teacher, English as a foreign language, in Chile and Peru and Bolivia, right? And during those three and a half years, I had to stand in front of people and, and explain to them the English language and how to speak English properly. And that's how I gained the ability to speak in front of people. It's essential. But not just public speaking. I mean, when you think of public speaking, a lot of times you're thinking of like giving a speech, okay? No, don't think of it like that. Think of it when you're in close quarters with say between three and 12 people and you are trying to convince them of something important. Because see, this is the basis of all corporate meetings. See, you're in a room with three, four, a dozen other people and you are telling them what you think should be done, what is the right approach to any given situation. You have to master the ability to present your ideas in a logical uh, a framework, in a logical order, and not only in a logical order, but in an order that convinces them, okay? This kind of close quarter speaking, that's what I'm really talking about when I'm talking about public speaking. You know, talking in front of a crowd of a thousand people, that's going to happen once in a while, right? In my own case, I've spoken to a crowd of over 500 people exactly twice, okay? Once was my confirmation when I was uh, 14, 15 years old, right? I, I read a passage from the Bible in front of the whole church and there were like, I don't know, five, six hundred people. The other time, I was speaking to a crowd of people at a movie premiere. A, a movie that I'd produced and directed, and I was telling them about it and blah, blah. Those were the only two times in my 51 years that I've spoken to a large crowd. But insofar as speaking to a small group of people, I'm talking three, six, nine, a dozen, I've done that hundreds of times because that is how business is done. That is how you sell a business or buy a business or, or any kind of business interaction, it's always a small meeting and you have to get good at those meetings. See what I'm saying? That's why public speaking is the number one skill that you should have.